Hello everyone, today I'd like to introduce you to Cisco's Presenter Track. Presenter Track, not to be confused with Speaker Track, is a camera that can be placed in the back of a conference room or the back of a meeting room and actually follow a physical presenter in the room. So the use case would be uh, potentially a training room or a large conference room where you have a table of individuals seated or crossway seating uh, like a classroom. Uh, and then a person physically in that space who is presenting to that audience, but you still want to capture that presenter on the far end of the call. Uh, so that is what the, the use case for presenter track is, whereas speaker track is more to actually capture the audience who's facing forward towards the system. Presenter track is relatively easy to configure. Um, once the hardware is installed, you can have it uh, you know, up and running relatively quickly. In this case, I am standing in front of a presenter track camera. What I'll do is I'll come into the video endpoint. Uh, and as you can see on the screen here, I have the web interface open. Uh, I went to the setup tab and presenter track submenu. Uh, you can see enable presenter track is checked. There's also a box here called configure. Uh, you're going to want to do this physically in the room with the endpoint. I, I suppose it could be done from another location, but uh, to get the best experience, you do want to be in, this, in the room with the endpoint. If you click the configure button, some additional options come up. Step one is the camera, so you'll actually select the camera. Uh, and step two is to set the trigger zone. Now, you've probably noticed there's a blue box around me on the screen, uh, and coincidentally that box is uh, positioned the same way on the screen uh, on the, uh, the endpoint here, uh, or in the configuration menu. So this box can be moved around. Uh, you can see I'm moving back and forth. Uh, you're going to want to set this trigger zone to be um, ideally behind the podium or in a, uh, the area where the presenter will start their presentation from. Uh, the overall shot, as you can see, the, the larger uh, image is called the stage. So we have the trigger zone and the stage. The trigger zone uh, is when presenter track starts doing its thing, right? When an individual's face is recognized inside this blue box, uh, that's when presenter track is going to start tracking. Uh, outside of the box in the stage area, so outside like this, uh, if I were to turn on presenter track now, it's not going to do anything. You're going to see the same shot that you see. Um, but when I walk in, tracking will begin. So let me give you a live demo of this. I'll come to the touch 10. I hit the camera icon. And in the camera positioning menu, you should see presenter track uh, or presenter. Um, again, we configured it earlier. Let's turn this on. So I am actively inside the trigger zone. Uh, I can move around the, the stage now and uh, will be followed uh, in kind until I either exit the stage or turn off the presenter tracking functionality. I'm actually going to exit the stage to the side here, and you can see we're taking back to the full screen. Uh, again, if I were to walk over to this area in front of the WebEx board, presenter track is going to re-engage and go from there. The next thing I want to show you to take this to a next, uh, the next level deeper from a technical perspective is the diagnostic mode for presenter track. Uh, as you can see, I have my terminal window open here. I am SSH'd into the endpoint. Uh, and this is actually a command line only feature uh, called diagnostic mode for presenter track. Uh, what you'll do is you'll come in, you'll say uh, X command, cameras, presenter track, and then you want to set the mode. Set mode, diagnostic. We'll hit enter there. What you'll see is again, now the presenter track uh, box is red. Um, and you can see a blue box over my face with green flashing. The green flashing is essentially positive facial recognition hits. The blue box is actually the tracking box uh, that tracks my face uh, in this instance. Now you can see uh, there's no box that's moving. In presenter track, the screen actually moved, the camera actually moved to crop in the image. If I were to walk into the trigger zone, you'll see another box appear in yellow. And as I move around, 
the stage area, that box follows me, right? So it gives you that more connected experience with the person who is actually the presenter. Uh, and again, I'll move around the, the screen. When the video is sent to the far end outside of diagnostic mode, that box will be uh, the only content that is being sent. Now, if I come back into the CLI, I can actually turn off diagnostics, diagnostic mode uh, as well as presenter track overall. <clears throat> so I hope that's been a great introduction to presenter track for you. Uh, it's a great technology to play around with. It does take a little bit of experiment, experimentation to get exactly how you want it, uh, but is relatively easy to configure. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Uh, and always, we would love you to subscribe and check out our other videos. Have a great day.